worshiping him qualifies you to have his glory seen on you. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. And if this isn't your first time here, and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. There is an apostolic economy, a newly created way to walk in, a newly fashioned society to be a part of, a new manifestation of the spirit that you can know first corinthians 12 verse 7 says the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with the manifestation means the unveiling there's an unveiling a new listen a new unveiling of the spirit that's coming to you and you can either be a part of it or disregard it and go your own little way but we're in that day where there is a new unveiling of the spirit god the holy ghost the spirit lord god in the earth today and i suggest that you be a part of it everything is in this room in the new manifestation of the spirit is everything I am a sent one to tell you this everything is in here there is a power to get wealth that's in here wealth and riches shall be in this house Daniel 1132 says the people that do know their God shall prove themselves strong stand firm and do exploits they do know their god it didn't say they do know the anointing they do know the gifts of the spirit they do know how to speak in other tongues i'm not against any of those other things but this says you had to know your god and so many people in the body of christ today have no idea that the holy ghost is the living god he's god in the earth today he's the only part of the godhead in the earth today and you need to get to know him as god if you do you will be strong and do exploits the new manifestation is of him him knowing him the holy ghost knowing him the spirit lord in a way that you've not known him they don't know him as the spirit lord those words are foreign to most people this new manifestation of the spirit of him is not the old manifestation and everybody is seeking to have a revival of the old manifestation poo poo this new manifestation is not the old manifestation this manifestation is the manifestation knowing him as god and worshiping him as god you're okay with an anointing you're okay with the gift of the spirit you're okay with someone speaking in tongues an interpretation of tongues that you're not okay with him being god in full authority in the earth today and walking with him and knowing him it's different knowing him is different than knowing the anointing no it's not you don't know what you're talking about the new destroys the old are you here i'll say it again the new destroys the old and just like every other move of god those who were established in the old reject the new they think they know better but they are not going here 
i've had to come to grips with this they are not going here those who were established in the old and are holding on to the old will not go here even some of those who feign understanding of the words i'm saying are not going here they'll just tack a little bit of maybe i worship you holy ghost onto the end of everything else they do and it's not enough to be changed you have to stay in this room of worshiping the holy ghost until you're completely rewired into the new and the new destroys the old they're not going here there is a well-defined new manifestation of the spirit i'm going to help you out tonight as much as i can it's more defined there is a new listen a new complete perfect manifestation of the spirit god in the earth there is a new complete perfect manifestation of the spirit god the spirit lord in the earth and then there's a complete perfect prophet that comes from it we've not been there yet that's where we're going so you disallowed this by not being willing to worship him you disallowed this by not being willing to worship him i can't tell you the number of letters i get written of people just outright angry that i'm preaching about worshiping the spirit lord the holy ghost god in the earth today their tradition and the way they've been brought up has disallowed them from going here the new destroys the old his glory shall be seen his glory shall be seen whose glory the spirit god the spirit lord the holy ghost god in the earth today his glory shall be seen who else what other god in the earth's glory shall be seen it has to be his glory his glory that shall be seen isaiah chapter 60 arise shine for thy light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon thee whose glory is it the glory of the lord upon thee there's only one god in the earth today and if any glory is going to be upon thee it will be his glory the glory of the spirit lord the holy ghost god in the earth today get it straight for behold darkness shall cover the earth gross darkness to people and it's gross but the lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee the glory of the lord him upon you and his glory being seen on you his glory shall be seen on you if you don't know him as the lord your god and treat him as the lord your god you won't see his glory and it certainly won't be on you it won't be on you you disallowed this because you refused to worship him as god second corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17 now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty or where the spirit lord is there's liberty now the lord is that spirit it didn't say now the lord is in the earth jesus jesus is in heaven and the father and jesus sent the holy ghost to be lord in the earth he is the spirit lord it's his glory that will be seen it's his glory that will be coming on you and shall be seen on you it's his glory it's his glory it's his glory the glory of the spirit lord is this fun yet 
but we all with open face beholding the glory of the Lord so we're beholding that glory and are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord or the Spirit Lord we're changed by beholding the glory of the Spirit Lord we're changed by beholding the glory of the Spirit Lord if you don't know him as Lord you don't worship him as Lord you will never behold his glory and you'll never be changed by it and you'll never be able to see or know where that glory will take you now the Lord is that spirit what spirit the Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord if you don't know him as Lord the Spirit Lord then how can you know his glory how can his glory be seen on you you're not beholding it you've refused to behold it because you have disallowed yourself from beholding it by not worshiping him boo disqualified worshiping the Holy Ghost as God self qualifies you listen saying I worship you Holy Ghost self qualifies you to enter into this room to enter into this glory to begin to partake of it and have that glory begin to rest on you and you will look different than everybody else you'll think different than everybody else you'll be able to go to a place in the spirit and a place in God that other people have been disallowed because you're self-qualified say I'm self-qualified worshiping him qualifies you to have his glory seen on you is this good yet I am as a worshiper of the Holy Ghost given the new manifestation of the Spirit to profit with I've entered into and now have the ability to enter into all things that are already in here qualified second Corinthians 3 18 says but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord we've entered into we're worshiping him and we're beholding the glory of the Spirit Lord are changed into the same image that we're beholding from one glory to the next glory even as by him the Spirit Lord you're changed you're rewired completely rewired you're qualified to go from one glory to the next glory by beholding him and his glory all of my future is in here can you see that you'll begin to know it as you've entered in you begin to see that all of your future is in this place we go from one thing to another thing we go from one place to another place by being changed by beholding his the Spirit Lord's glory and this is seen on us you can see it oh I see you're going from glory to glory because most of the people I see I can see that they're not going I can see that they've rejected to go here they don't worship the Holy Ghost as God disqualified in the year 1899 remember this in the year 1899 a man named Thornstein Veblen wrote a book called the theory of the leisure class I've read it several times and he coined the term conspicuous consumption conspicuous consumption of good this is you the good things of God listen to me I'm trying to take you somewhere Exodus 33 and verse 18 this is Moses talking to God he's up on the mountain and he said I beseech thee 
show me thy glory and he said i will make all of my goodness pass before you so moses said show me your glory and god said i will make all my goodness pass before you which meant moses was able to see his glory his glory and his goodness they were the same thing right now we are beholding the glory of the spirit lord and are changed into the same image by beholding it are you here we're beholding his goodness we begin to partake of his goodness and it shall be seen we'll hide behind a rock if you must but this veil has been taken away we behold his goodness the goodness of the spirit lord the living god the holy ghost god in the earth today and we're changed by beholding his glory and then we conspicuously consume it isaiah 60 verse 1 said the glory of the lord is risen upon thee behold the darkness shall cover the earth gross darkness the people but the lord shall arise upon thee his glory shall be seen on thee and verse 3 and the gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy rising it will be attractive specifically to the world as you conspicuously consume his goodness now joseph do you remember joseph he was the favorite son of jacob joseph wore the best coat and was persecuted for doing so do you remember this by whom was he persecuted by his brethren his brethren were the ones that were all twisted out of shape over it isaiah 60 verse 3 says the world will come to your light of his goodness and it will be seen on you well i live this message nothing thrills me more than being able to worship the holy ghost as god and speak in agreement with his word and partake of the glory that's in that room and being changed from one thing to the next it's a new manifestation of the spirit his glory shall be seen i display this message habakkuk chapter 2 verse 14 says the knowledge of the glory of the lord will cover the earth this knowledge of the glory of the lord of spirits the spirit lord the holy ghost shall cover the earth i am a part of that coverage holy ghost i thank you for blessing these people that their eyes have been opened to the new manifestation of you and as they worship you, says the spirit lord they shall know a greater way and a greater society and a greater economy to live in and these things shall be completely new wonderfully new and it shall destroy the old but let it go for the new has come and is greater than anything in the past we thank you spirit lord in jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i worship you i thank you for what you're doing in my life that i'm being exposed to you in a new way and these great things shall begin happening in my finances in my family in my entirety of my life and i worship you in jesus name amen in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God